Yeah, yeah, this is um, common dreams. It just breaks your heart. I just can't fathom when you hear people, you know, Israelis, that they're doing this. They're doing this to Palestinians. This is just a, a crime, as we know. And it says, uh, stripped, blindfolded, and bound, Palestinian civilians are taken prisoner and ordered into a line by Israeli occupation forces in Gaza in December 2023. That's the picture there. And this is by Brett Wilkins on February 13th, 2024. The IDF let Israeli civilians film torture of Palestinian detainees, a report. Quote, this is beyond military occupation, apartheid, economic exploitation, and all the rest, asserted one journalist. Quote, there is something extremely sickening happening here. It is. <clears throat> and we've been watching the cheering of people seeing um, Palestinians being murdered. Now you see the people filming torture. And it has to do with the brainwashing of the society, but this type of brainwashing where people are actually watching and filming torture is, is beyond horrific. Israeli Defense Forces officers brought Israeli civilians into detention centers and allowed them to watch and film Palestinian prisoners being tortured, according to survivor testimonies published this week by the Geneva-based Euro-Mediterranean Human Rights Monitor. Prisoners held at detention centers in Zikim on the northern border of the Gaza Strip and at a site in southern Israel affiliated with Nakab Prison, quote, told Euromed Monitor that the Israeli soldiers had purposely presented them before Israeli civilians, falsely claiming they were fighters affiliated with Palestinian armed factions and that they had taken part in the October 7th attack on Israeli towns, the group said. The former detainees said groups of 10 to 20 Israeli civilians were brought in and allowed to record torture sessions, which the men, stripped nearly naked, were beaten with metal batons, electrocuted, and had hot water poured over their heads. The ex-prisoners said some of the Israelis laughed while filming their torture. Terrible. Quote, I was arrested at the checkpoint set up near Kuwaiti uh, roundabout, which separates Gaza City from the central region as part of the Israeli random arrest campaigns. I was subjected to all types of torture and abuse for approximately 52 days. 43-year-old Omar Abu Mudala told Euromed Monitor, adding that his IDF captors quote, brought Israeli civilians to watch our nude torture. That is just horrific, how people would actually watch it. Abu Mudala continued, the Israeli army brought a number of Israeli civilians into our detention centers while beating us and telling them, quote, they, these are Hamas terrorists who killed you and raped your woman on 7 October, while the Israeli civilians were filming us being beaten, abused, and tortured while making fun of us. This happened five times while I was being held. The first time was in Farkasat Sikkim, where we were blindfolded. However, one of the detainees who speaks Hebrew told us that the soldiers were interacting with Israeli civilians, claiming that they were armed fighters. The other four incidents took place in the Negev detention facility, where successive Israeli groups were taken inside tents to witness our abuse and record the torture methods we were subjected to without allowing us to speak or interact with them. Since we were not wearing blind blindfolds at the time, I saw them 
all four times with my own eyes. Quote, one of the detainees who speaks Hebrew tried to explain to the Israeli civilians that we are civilians and we had nothing to do with any military activities, but that also did not help. Abu Mudala added, quote, however, he was subjected to severe psychological and physical torture. It was really shameful to bring Israeli civilians to record our torture for being allegedly involved in killing and rape incidents. And Ramsey Baroud has in a tweet here, this is beyond military occupation, apartheid, economic exploitation, and all the rest. There is something extremely sickening happening here. And if it is not stopped, it will spread. And he's correct. There's something not right here. Another form, former prisoner, identified only as 42-year-old D.H. told Euromed Monitor that, quote, Israeli civilians were brought to witness the abuse and torture that we were subjected to, which the army deliberately began when they were present. Quote, these Israelis sometimes brought their dogs with them to bark at us, he added. Quote, they are also pictures of us and posted them on social media, apps, particularly TikTok, with the soldiers themselves doing the same. And like I said, there's something very sick here, mentally, going on. Euromed Monitor asserted that, quote, the vast majority of those arrested from within the Gaza Strip have been subjected to arbitrary detention without being charged or brought to justice, with no legal measures taken against them. So they were basically just randomly picked up. There was no charges. And they were tortured anyway. There were no charges. There were no trials. Correct. There were no con convictions. No. They just took prisoners and they abused them. Mm-hmm. Quote, they are also denied a fair trial and are subjected to forced Disappearance, torture, and inhumane treatment, the group added. Israeli practices against Palestinian detainees are blatant violations of international conventions and standards, particularly the 1949 Fourth Geneva Convention, which forbids an occupying authority from transferring prisoners from the occupied territory to detention facilities on its territory, as well as torturing attacking or otherwise degrading the human dignity of those detained. Israeli forces, with their long history of torturing Palestinian prisoners, have been accused during the current war on Gaza of torturing civilian detainees before executing them. Photos and videos of Israeli troops abusing Palestinians, both alive and dead, have been published by perpetrators on social media. Human rights defenders point to such images and their proud display as evidence of Israeli genocide in a war in which more than 100,000 Palestinians have been killed, maimed, or gone missing. The International Court of Justice found last month in a preliminary ruling that Israel is, unquote, plausibly, plausibly committing genocide in Gaza while ordering Israeli forces to, unquote, take all measures to avoid perpetrating genocidal acts. And they continue. Okay, if no one will take up the cause of the International Court of Justice. And soon, there will be no International Court of Justice anymore. Because it will be seen okay, to be okay a dead letter. Exactly. 
It, we, have, we have to not only bring justice, but we have to defend the institutions that we created, okay, to bring justice. And I say, when I say we created these institutions, the United States of America had a leading role in creating these institutions after the Second World War. And now we are complicit in destroying these institutions. Right. And that's saying never again, people were horrified by what occurred and with Hitler and you know World War II. We all, I know myself, a lot of us, we learned about this in school. And it was horrifying, the Holocaust. And never again, never again. And here we are watching on social media, you know, what's happening again. Yes, I have to wonder what was wrong, okay, with the Israeli education. Because I'm sure, I'm sure okay, Israeli children were exposed to the facts, okay, of the Holocaust how they could become familiar with uh, uh, those facts. Okay. And then themselves be complicit, okay, in this genocide. I just don't understand. I don't understand how they cannot look okay, in the mirror and see what they've become. And when you what look at it, possibly uh, justify these things that they are doing. And you look at it, a group think you have some of these extreme rabbis that are quoting <coughs> all these things of how, you know, that's superior. And others are lesser, humans lesser, lesser, lesser. They're not human, they're this, they're that. But then that brings me back to what you just said, Joe. How could, with learning about the Holocaust and the dehumanization, how could they dehumanize others? No matter what these, you know, these radical rabbis are saying, how could they dehumanize others? There are rabbis, okay, and there are rabbis. I think the United States is full, okay, of rabbis who condemn uh, what is going on in Israel right now. Mm -hmm. And maybe Israel is full of rabbis who are condemning what is going on right now. And you would think they would get rid of Netanyahu as much as they all want to get rid of him. And I keep thinking, why isn't there a coup? Why isn't? Why aren't they getting rid of him and the whole right wing? Because they're destroying. They are destroying Israel. I mean, they have to go. If we would looked at with in the West Bank how they just. <coughs> Continuing terrorizing the people in the West Bank as well. Demolishing homes. This this form of Zionism, you know, it's radical Zionism and it's no respect for human life. And they keep talking about Judaizing with their their type of Jewish. And there's a whole bunch of Jewish people that would not be accepted by this group of uh, Jewish. Yeah, like me. Yeah, this has got to be stopped. Yeah, like me, okay, Madeline. I know, we all just watch this and we're like, why isn't anybody stopping this? You know, the West Bank, how far um, these settlements have gone. 
would never stop. Like you said, there was never this group effort to stop it. So Israel doesn't stop doing what it does because it's not a group effort to stop. Whether the actions are going on in the West Bank or Gaza, there's not a group effort to stop all this. 